Hey, I'm Mac here with Tools today. We are going to go through this Milwaukee Fuel hammer drill, which it's broken. So let's take this apart and see what is actually wrong with this thing. Am I going to avoid warranty? 100%, but I like to tinker with stuff. So let's take this apart. But first, everybody likes coffee. But are you drinking coffee out of a Belts and Boxes mug? Belts and Boxes store is finally up and they actually have some pretty cool stuff. They have a Blessed Be the Barrel Grip t-shirt, which I ordered a few things and they are on their way. This is the one that came first. And this mug is actually awesome. Now please go join a Belts and Boxes membership program because they do a very fantastic deed. They uh, actually help out uh, shop classes around schools. Shop class heroes! And they actually donate to them as well. And so please go check them out, you guys. You know, it's a good cause. Oh, like I said, coffee is good, but it's better in a Belts and Boxes mug. Yes, it is. I have that. All right, so I want to experiment with that first. I want to take this out to see if it's anything to do with this. That is a, those are some powerful magnets, as you can see. I want to see if there's anything physically wrong with that. Let's put that back in. Let's see what happens. And nothing that that is a powerful magnet in there all right so investigation has to go further oh let's take the battery out okay long one goes in front Two long ones are, are on the bottom. These ones have washers, so those ones have to go back onto that metal housing for the hammer. Okay, that's half out. You gotta get that, remember to put that light back in that slot. All right, so. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, we need to continue the investigation. All right, so that half should come out as well. There we go, take all this out, fun stuff. That body is now disassembled. All right, so let's put the battery in. Let's see if anything interacts. All right, let's take the, let's take that out. Huh. Ooh, got it. Don't worry guys, I got it. Now 
let's disassemble, take this out. There we go. Yep, had to take that off of this right here. So yeah, so now I want to put I'm gonna put this back in here and see if this rotates. Put a good amount of grease on on that right there for the speed selector. Excuse me while I take a sip of my coffee. Ah, that is a strong magnet. All right, let's make sure the connections are all good. If there's any loose wires. In case you guys are wondering, this is what the actual motor looks like. Motor's not bad. Motor's not bad at all. Let's take the battery out again. See, I'm just assuming that a wire came loose or unsoldered or something. But it doesn't look like it. You guys want to know why Milwaukee tools are so expensive? This is why. That along with other components, but yeah, that's 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 great right there. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. The wires are not unsoldered or disconnected. This seems to be moving. It's so the the gearing is not locked. The left clamshell has to go on first, just so you guys know, because it has the the light wiring place. There we go. Stuff that in. Perfect. Everything else is in place. Let's put, remember the ones with the washers go back in. Battery in, let's see if we get any turn. Nothing. All right, so we did figure out that just by taking it apart, putting it back together, it did not do the trick, but I did do it in a little experiment. Let's put a piece of tape on there, and let's, I did see that this actually does, without the motor, it actually does rotate the chuck. So nothing is wrong with the, the chuck housing or the hammer feature. Let's go all the way around, speed this up a little bit. And there we go. All right, so nothing's wrong with the chuck, which, is the, which that's why I'm thinking what's wrong with this is probably electrical. Yeah, it's electrical because even the light isn't turning on. Yeah, so as you guys can see, we took this apart and see what it is. And the uh, I should have noticed this earlier, but the light isn't even turning on. So something is wrong with the board. There's nothing I can do about this because I'm not going to order a bunch of parts just to see if I can get this fixed for free. Something's wrong with the board. But as you can see, just because it says Milwaukee on there doesn't mean it's not going to break. Now, could, do I use these tools uh, as hard as contractors do uh, on a regular basis on the job site? Heck no. I do put these through a lot of strain, and but as you can see, the tool even looks brand new and yet it doesn't work. All brands experience uh, tools failing. I'm a part of 32 uh, Facebook groups about tools, for one for a couple of Facebook groups for each brand, and every brand uploads their tools smoking, frying out, not working anymore. So it's across all tools. So no matter what brand you buy, it probably will eventually break because 
Like everyone says, they don't make them like they used to. But, like I said one more time, go check out Belts and Boxes. That's a nice cup of joe. So, that's pretty much it, you guys. Today was a success, but also a failure. It's not worth it. I'd rather send this in and go get it fixed. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and, and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. <music>